if you cared. Oh, sweetums, this is gonna be like such a fantastic day, don't you think? Actually, I can't understand how you can be so thrilled about something that doesn't include me. <laughs> oh, you're such a kidder. <laughs> I'll be back soon. It's like no biggie. Just don't expect me to come running. Well, with... you'd have to run, because I'm like taking your car. <laughs> when you get all lonely and bored. Ha! Huh. If Hillary doesn't need me, I don't need her. Hm. Oh, what a ridiculous place for a street lamp. Ah, what a perfect day to be at the beach. Everyone certainly seems to be enjoying themselves. Mr. Sariyama's fishing? Perkula's playing with his beach ball. The kids are building sand castles. <sighs> and my husband is asleep. All is right with the world. Ready for the sand castle building competition, boys? You bet, Coco. Bongo and I are gonna win for sure. Well, I say Chewie and I will make the best sand castle. Absolutely. All we have to do is follow my blueprints. Blueprints? blueprints? Good thing we've got all day. Hey! Did anybody see my beach ball? You mean the one that just parted my hair? Uh, yeah. Looking good, Coco. Do you want in on the sandcastle competition, Pecola? Maybe later. Gola Gola and I are playing catch. See ya! really a sand castle. It's more like a sand city. I don't believe that our superior design warrants disqualification. Uh, yeah. What he said. Now, children, as judge, I think they're both splendid. It's a tie. Yay! Yay! I still say it's a sand city. Huh? Ah! Oh, what is that noise? <laughs> I knew I didn't need Hillary to have a good time. Oh no, the waves from that thing are gonna wreck our sand castle. <sighs> oh my goodness! Well, since the sand city is no more, I guess we're the winners. <laughs> you were saying, Rudy? Look out! Everyone here seems excited to see me. Do you want to see some tricks? Watch this. Oh, maybe he's got a cramp. Maybe his hoof hurts? Oh, no! believe the way Gazelle is racing around on that awful machine. It's not very considerate of others. That's 
bead demon made me set my melons adrift. And he woke me up from the best nap I've had in <sighs> hours. And he's even scared away Gola Gola. Well, there must be a law against those crazy seagoing contraptions. Uh, no, uh, I'm afraid not. Uh, as far as I can see, there is no law against riding those uh, crazy seagoing contraptions. Well, there ought to be. People and melons are being disturbed. He's right, Officer <sighs> Kumara. About the people, anyway. I can't speak for the disturbed melons. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. Gazelle has every right to use that obnoxious uh, sea thing. Why don't we try talking to Gazelle? <laughs> How can we do that? He can't hear us while he's on that thing. We've tried to signal him, and he's just ignoring us. That's what I was going to say. If Gazelle is going to continue riding that thing, I'm going home. Absolutely. I can't sleep a wink here with that racket. Yeah. Me two. Me three. Me uh, four. <sighs> I wonder what's gotten into Gazelle. May I borrow your binoculars, Mrs. Bernard? I certainly won't need them anymore. Thank you. I want to see if I can find Gola Gola. Well, if he has any sense, he's gotten as far away from here as he can. Sign of him. Huh. I guess he's gone for. Ah! Gazelle? Yep, it's me, and only me. Do you want to see me do some more tricks? I think I've seen enough of what your new toy can do already. Hmm. That toy is the latest craze from Cubic City. I'll bet Mr. Saruyama will want to see. Hey, where did everybody go? Your latest craze is driving everyone crazy. They've all gone back to town to get away from the noise. Back to town? Everyone? Yes, everyone. You nearly swamped Mr. Saruyama's boat, wrecked everyone's sandcastles, and woke up Mr. Bernard. You even scared away Gola Gola. I think everyone would like it if you would be a bit more considerate. No one seems to be very considerate of me today. I don't care. I don't need Hillary or anybody else. Hillary? I haven't seen her all day. Where is she anyway? Oh, Miss, I don't care about Gazelle has gone to Cubic City. As if I care. Hillary went away without you? Uh. Do you want to talk about it, Gazelle? Why bother talking when no one's listening? <sighs> These would be great. At the beach. You can say that again. I was just going to. But it's too hot. Oh. It's hot enough to fry an egg on the sidewalk. Or a melon. Uh, yes. I can't believe Gazelle took over the beach. What could he be thinking? So, now everyone in town has deserted me. Fine. I don't need anyone. Hmm. I'll just stay out here forever by myself. I will... <laughs> should give him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Uh -oh. <gasps> 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 ah! What is 
going on here? <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm so, oh. Love Muffin! Don't love Muffin me, you two-timer! And to think I came back because I missed you! <laughs> you did? Mrs. Bernard thought I was unconscious, but the truth is, I was just too ashamed to look her in the eye. Ashamed? Of like what? Of my behavior. I was hurt that you went away without me. But instead of talking about my feelings, I tried to convince myself that I didn't need anyone. Now I realize that I need all my friends more than I ever knew. Thank you for saving me, Gola Gola. <coughs> I'm sorry about my thoughtless conduct today, everyone. I hope you can forgive me. Of course, Gazelle. But next time you feel all alone, just remember, we're all here for you. You bet, Gazelle. We'd rather hear you talk than listen to you ride any day. Ride? Like, what's he talking about, Pookie? <laughs> I'll tell you later, Snookums. But first, I've got to rebuild a sandcastle or two. If you need any help... Yay! I still say that Coco and Chewy's was a sand city. Mayor, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the first annual Cube Town Yacht Race. Huh? <clears throat> I'm over here, C citizens. Good morning. This is Miss Lucky reporting for Cube Town Live. Let's meet our competitors, shall we? Here is the Sailing Shrew, a boat designed and captained by Dr. Chu. <laughs> and the Challenger, Picolius' classic craft, the Flying Flipper. Yeah! What are your strategies for victory today? <laughs> strategies? Oh, you mean, uh, do we have a plan? No, I think our strategies are the same. We plan to have a fun race. Absolutely! This race is for fun, first and foremost. And here come the crews. The Coleus' team of Pecola and Robbie, and Dr. Chew's team of Little Chew and Coco. Pecola, Little Chew, are you excited to be first mates aboard your grandfather's ships today? Yes, it's quite an honor. It's going to be fun to sail with Coco, too. Thanks, Chewie. I'll do my best. See you on board. And Robbie and I are ready to race, too. Right, Robbie? Of course. <laughs> It'll be like a big video game. On water, I hope. We've heard your grandfather's strategies for victory today. Do you also have game plans as first mates? Strategies? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure all the voters, I mean viewers, would be interested to know that you will be broadcasting the race live from my helicopter. Is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> the race is about to start, viewers, so stick with us as we hit the skies. <sighs> And as pilot, I will be happy to update everyone on my latest policies and blah, 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 blah. Obviously, a victory is important to Grandfather if he has a strategy. Gramps has a strategy? He must really want to win. Flapping flippers! With all those gizmos and gadgets, the sailing shrew will be hard to beat. I'll have to be the fastest first mate ever. Coleus is so experienced. We'll have to be really organized to keep up. I'll just have to be the most efficient first mate ever. Ugh. I gotta go. Good luck, Chewy. Good luck, Pecola. What a beautiful day for the race. Speaking of beautiful, I hope that all of you voters... Oh, sorry to interrupt, Mr. Mayor, but... They're off! And the sailing shrew takes the lead! Yeah! Yeah! We'll never catch the shrew. She's too fast 
of all our new gadgets. This old girl's got a few tricks left in her pecola. <laughs> Watch. Flapping flippers. Grandfather? <laughs> Only a sailor as crafty as Ficolius could have taken us on the inside like that, little Chew. <laughs> He's the best. You mean we don't even have a chance? Oh, of course we do. With our automatic sail trimmer, we can adjust our sail much faster than the flipper can. <laughs> like this. Whoa! Technology rules. <gasps> <laughs> ah, isn't the sky beautiful today, Pecola? Huh? I, I didn't notice. I'm trying to keep my eyes on the sailing shrew. Well, she's a fine craft, all right. Why don't you go see how Robbie's doing? Yes, sir. I'll make sure he's working hard, sir. Working hard? I thought you could ask him if he'd like a soda. Look sharp, sailor. Pecola, you startled me. This is no time to daydream. We're in a race. Now, how about pooping the swab deck? I mean, swabbing the poop deck. A clean ship is a fast ship. Go, go, go! <laughs> I, I, I guess. Oh, well, little Chew, isn't it fantastic to watch the sail fill with wind? Yes, but if we used lighter, stronger material, we could go faster. Well, <laughs> perhaps, but uh, it wouldn't make it any more beautiful, uh, would it? Isn't it more important that it works better? Actually, little Chew, sometimes it's more important that... Uh... Hang on a second, Grandfather. I just have to check a few things with Coco. Hmm. Did you count the emergency flares? Check. Fresh water? Raincoats? Flashlights? Check, check, check. Great. Ah, <laughs> the boat is handling beautifully, Little Chew. <laughs> little Chew? Yes, but if I gather enough data, maybe we could alter the design to make it even faster. Well, we, we can't change the design out here. So please just enjoy the ride. I am enjoying the ride, Grandfather. I'm working to help you improve it. Gotta check a few things with Coco. La, 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 ooh, lee, lee, lee. Coco, <laughs> can you give me a count of the number of wrenches in the toolbox? You interrupted my singing to ask me to do that? You can sing later. Right now, we're trying to win a race. So more counting and less singing, okay? <sighs> this is the last time I sail with you. You can count on that. What a race! The flying flipper is now leading. And leading isn't easy. Blah, 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 blah. And they've pulled even again! Uh oh, what should we do? What do you want me to tell Robbie to do? Calm down, Peckler. You and Robbie get ready to trim the sail on my command. Aye aye. Ready for our latest orders, Robbie? M more orders? M sure. Uh... Can you just go over them slowly this time? Slowly? But I have to do everything fast! Oh, now I've forgotten what Gramps said to do. Stow the gear below? Oops. No. Ow! Bet in the hatches? No! Yeah. Trim the sail! That's it! Oh, but not yet! Huh? But I... I... Ah! Help! Get me down from here! Huh? Hold on, Robbie. I can't leave the helm. We need help from the sailing shrew. Try to keep him calm, Pegola. Robbie, hang in there. I mean, out there. <laughs> According to 
my tracking device, the Flying Flipper has fallen way behind. We're winning. We, we, we're not out here just to win, little Chew. We, we, <gasps> Dr. We... Chew, the Flying Flipper is in trouble. We have to turn around. <laughs> huh? Where did those flares come from? I didn't even notice them. <sighs> Maybe because they don't show up on your computer, Chewie. Yeah, there's no time to argue. Our friends need us now. All hands on deck. I'm ready to help. What are your orders, Captain? Well, it seems that both our first mates got their priorities confused. <laughs> I was trying to do everything as fast as I could so I could help us win. And I was trying to organize everything to help us win. But winning isn't what we're here to do. Oh, I didn't design our boat to win. I built it so we could have fun together. I guess I was worried about winning first. And my friend's feeling second. I'm really sorry, Robbie. <laughs> That's okay. Just uh, don't come near me with any ropes for a while, okay? I'm sorry too, Coco. Nothing is more important than treating your friends with respect. Can you forgive me? Sure, but only if this thing goes away for the rest of the day, okay? Yes. Well, it's been a long day. I think it's time we headed for home. As long as we're going to the same place. Wanna race? Oh, you're on, Picolius. <laughs> oh, little Chew, Pecola, you know what to do. Sure. Listen to what everyone has to say and have fun. <laughs> There's Mayor Papazoni's helicopter. I wonder if everyone is still watching us on TV. I also intend to honor all the promises I made last election before the next election. Blah, 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 blah. Election. <laughs>